there Virgo welcome well it's time for your monthly career and finance reading so this is for December 2023 let's see what's going on for you in your career and finance okay we have here the owl so communication wise communication some kind of important information coming towards you it also could be coming at night with the owls let's see we have here ring oh someone could be offering you a contract agreement a commitment wow yeah so something's coming in here hmm i mean this could be marriage i know we're doing a career and finance but someone could have that on their mind that's more if that's someone oh look at this there's definitely someone coming towards you important information important message coming in someone might be anxious to get married here or it could be someone offering you a, a job offering you um, a partnership um, some kind of connection here it could be a business could be love could be both wow so expect somebody coming towards you with some kind of offer okay let's see here why do we have the owl Okay, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. Are you single? Or someone could even offer you a proposition, start your own business, because this could be entrepreneur energy. This, The Nine of Pentacles is a minor arcana of the Empress, and the Empress is the most abundant card in the deck. So someone could be offering you something quite lucrative here. Let's see about the ring. Ooh, commitment. Look at this. Wow, the Hierophant. Taurus energy. This also could represent some kind of, um, some kind of, well, conformity, some kind of um, organized, um, something very organized or something, uh, you know, conventional. You know, it could mean different things for different people. Okay. And the writer. Let's see. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. This is definitely commitment or it also could be lots of money involved here. Some, this looks really good. Okay, so now, let's see here. What can you do to move forward? We have here, okay. You might be traveling. Maybe you have to travel for business to, to make a deal um, go through. You might have to go on a journey. Um, this also could be something at a distance. This also could be referring to something foreign to you. Foreign lands, foreign people, you know, a, a foreign culture something that you're just not used to but this could be you have some kind of travel involved it could be just something you could be waiting for too to come in look at this tower wow okay now the tower could be a single energy this could mean you doing something on your own this could also mean you're putting up boundaries this could also be a controlling person but then again on another thing it could mean a organization a corporation a institution uh, higher learning government you know, take it how it might resonate with you and then we have the moon now this could put you into a position of some kind of um, fame or fortune here with the moon getting recognized for something here this could be you're attracting something here maybe your your dreams are coming true here it looks really good okay let's see here what about the ships okay so we have the empress see we have the the nine of pentacles now we have the empress so this is giving birth to something new here this is creativity this could be actually a pregnancy but it could be giving birth to a whole new career a whole new business starting your own business but it's financially abundance this is the most financially abundant card in the whole deck Libra Taurus energy okay now what about the tower? We have here justice, contracts. Whoa, this is really some heavy duty stuff going on for you. Libra energy. So this would be a fair contract, be some kind of um, justice coming here for you. And let's see about the moon. We have here the page of cups. Also could be a love offer. 
Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This could be someone coming towards you that's younger than you. There also could be an apology coming towards you. It is a surprise, maybe, because you got the fish jumping out of the cup. Something you're not expecting. Okay, let me get a charm on that. We have here... Ooh, amore, love. Yeah, someone's coming to you with a love offer. Okay, let me do the words right away. We have here... Intruder... Tower, money. Ooh. Okay. The tower is Aries Scorpio energy. Some kind of surprise, something you're not expecting. Someone might be intruding on something. Maybe something to do with your money or a deal you're trying to do. Okay, let's see about the money. Now we have here, yeah, maybe savings. This is someone's savings jar. So something's coming here that someone's intruding on maybe some trying to save something. You know, this is a general reading, so take if it resonates, leave if it doesn't. It might not be for you. Okay, so now, let's see. How can you be more financially successful? Let's see. We have here loyalty, trustworthy, um, uncondition unconditional love. This is someone maybe around you, or this is the way you need to be towards someone, or maybe your company. Um, let's see. We have here. We do have the sun. There's happiness here. There's, wow. So this is like the happiest card in the deck you have now, the sun. So with the sun, this is lucky. It's success. It's something that maybe you're hot and passionate about. Okay, then we have the garden. So this could be socializing, networking, uh, a meeting. This could be meeting someone out in public, and it might be very beneficial for you. It might be a very lucky time that you might be coming into something here okay so let's see why do we have the dog so we have here the king of pentacles okay definitely could be your energy now you have the most abundant financially abundant card out of the court cards oh you're coming into money big money i would say because now i think this is you maybe this is you're getting your payback for being a loyal employer or being a loyal um, business owner or being you know someone that someone could count on to could trust in doing any kind of business dealings you could be getting money now for this it's like could be paying off so um Taurus Virgo Capital let me get a charm on this we have yes yeah, stability long-term relationship something that will last okay so now what about the Sun Okay, we have here the Four of Swords. You might also be taking a little time out, taking a vacation, a break, resting. It might say, you know, you've been working really hard. You need to take a break. You need to rest. You need to heal from something here. From all the passion. <laughs> okay, what about the garden? We have here the High Priestess. There might be secrets. Secrets in the garden. Secrets online. Secrets, something going on. Or it could be your intuition kicking in. The Cancer Virgo for the High Priestess anyway. So it could be that your intuition is kicking in and that's helping you here. Okay. Let me get the word on this King of Pentacles. Confused. Present. Mature. Okay, so maybe someone that's very mature is confused in the present. Someone might be giving you a present or someone might be presenting you with something, but it might confuse you. Take if it resonates, leave if it doesn't. Okay, so now, and you can always rearrange the words to make sense for your circumstances or what, pay attention to what your, what the angels and your guys tell you as these, read as you do these readings. I say one thing, I read another reader says something else. And what does what are you getting? What messages are you receiving? Pay attention to those because those are for you. These are general readings, so pay attention to what you personally get. So, um, where or what do you need to improve? Okay, there's luck. Your your luck will improve. Something is happening here. You, or believe in your luck. Believe that things can happen. And we have here, you're at a crossroads. Maybe you need to improve making a decision here. You might be at, hard to make a decision. Now, this is also some kind of discord, some kind of arguments, quarrels, punishment. Maybe you, um, if you need to improve on something, maybe try not to fight with someone. 
But it seems like a lucky time for you anyway, no matter what. So, I mean, that's just the position. And it might be for you. And maybe there's nothing for you to improve on. So, you know, you'll know. I mean, if you're not arguing with people, then you'll say, wait, that doesn't pertain to me. And it won't, you know. Let's see about the lucky clover here. We have, oh, the magician. Okay, believe. Um, that's the only thing I can say that if anything, if you're not believing in yourself, you believe because a magician can manifest anything. Look at this guy just sort of like looking into the flame. It's like he's mesmerized there. He's in a trance. Just believe that you can achieve and you will. Whatever you think about, you're going to bring about. So stay positive. You have all the tools you need to manifest whatever you want. Now, what about the crossroads? Oh, look at this. We have the two of pentacles, crossroads, two of pentacles. You're having a hard time making a decision. You might be juggling things or you might be multitasking. Okay, so that would be something you could improve on. Trying not, trying to make a decision here. Okay, what about this um, broom? Okay, we do have the ten of cups. So this is happy family. This is happy home life. Maybe if there's any kind of discord within the family, maybe try to work on that. Um, and that would be, everything will fall into place better. Because, you know, once anything that's out of line is going to throw th other things out of line. So if you want everything to be in line, usually when things start going in your favor in one way, it trickles down. But there's something that you're holding their grudge or not doing something about, that can, you know, disrupt the, the apple cart, you know? So now with this um, Ten of Cups, this is family business, it's happy home life, it's domestic, domestic security. I've been doing a lot of readings and I'm getting all tongue-tied here. Okay, so I have no more court cards here right now. Okay, so now let's go on to what or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome. Let's see. Ooh, there's some kind of change, some kind of delivery. There's oh, look at this the bear. Okay, we have the home. Yeah, there, you know, there's something. There might be something you need to overcome. Maybe changing something in the home, or the, okay, the the storks are change. It's delivery. It's move. It's um, progress. Um. It could be a new love. It could be starting over. Moving on. Some kind of changes, though. There's usually some kind of change. You could be relocating. Now with the bear, the bear is authority, is power, is protection, is aggression. Maybe someone doing, being a little too aggressive at home. Because now we have um, the house. So this is real estate. This is home. This is family. This is security. This is something familiar. I don't really feel, I'm getting that with some, someone has to change of being, almost feeling like, like here how we have everything here, you could have a happy home life, but it feels like someone's being a little too aggressive. So if you change that, things will probably work better in your favor. Okay, so now, let's see. Let's get the clarifiers here. With this dorks we have, oh, six of wands, there'll be a victory here. Okay, so... You're going to get recognition. There's some kind of victory. Six of Wands. Getting recognized for what you do here at work, maybe. Um, there's something coming in your favor. And then we have for the beer, we have... Okay, something coming in quick here. We have the Chariot. Cancer Energy. Moving quick. Maybe you're moving on to something fast or something coming towards you fast. And then with the house... We have here the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is I can do attitude. Failure is not an option. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. Let me get a charm on that. Okay, we have the Wine um, Opener. So maybe you're going to be celebrating something at your house to do with the wine, to do open a bottle of wine. Or maybe you work with wine. You could be working at a vineyard. You could be working at a bar, a restaurant, a liquor store. It could be something like that. That's why this comes up. Okay, let's get the word on this Knight of Swords. And we have here, serious, <clears throat> committed, change. Okay, so someone might be serious to be committing some change. 
or you could rearrange the words to make more sense to you. Okay, now let's see. What is coming in in the near future for you? We have here, oh, the fox. So this could have something to do with work because a lot of times foxes associate with work. It also could be someone being very clever, also sneaky or intriguing here with the fox. It's a sly. It could be devious too, let's see. And then we have here the mountains. Okay, maybe you have to be sly or slick to get around obstacles. The mountains are challenges, obstacle blockages, detours, delays. Okay, and then we have the child for a new beginning. To start something new, a new beginning, child, trust, surprise, new start. Okay, let's see what else we have. Why is a fox here? Why is a fox here? Okay, we have the fool, yes. To start, some, there's something new coming in for you. A new start, a new, um, new adventure, starting over. Okay, and the mountains, we have here the five of pentacles. You know, getting over maybe trying to feel like you're left out in the cold or deserted or or um yeah five has changed though so let's see in this child we have knight of pentacles here you go taurus virgo capricorn slow and steady wins the race so with the knight of pentacles this is someone that is um dedicated hard working a valuable asset and very stable and reliable i would say that's your energy okay let's see let's get a charm on this Oh, we have a heart. This could be in starting something that you love, or it also could be a love for a child, or it could be having a new romance here, too. Okay, let's see about the words on this. Let's get the words. We have karma, drama, later. Okay, so some, some might be some drama later caused by karma. Take if it resonates, leave it doesn't. Okay, so now, what or whom is helping you? Let's see. We have here the key, knowledge. You might be now getting access to something you didn't have access for. This could be the key to open doors that were closed to you before. Now you might be able to open them. Or you could close doors that you don't want um, to be open too. Knowledge. And there here we have whatever you went through maybe with the cross. This is burdens, this is obligations. And, you know, this is a lot on your plate. This actually has helped you maybe to help you grow or help you to achieve something. Or maybe people realize how hard of a worker you are. And then we have here the bouquet. You're going to get some kind of gift, some kind of surprise. Something is coming towards you that's making you really happy here. Okay, could actually be flowers. Okay, good luck. It's um, a bonus, a gift. So let's see. Why do we have the key here? We have here, okay, we have the page of swords. See, you could be getting notice. For your hard work you could also be learning a new skill a new craft a new something new here that helps you a page of swords aquarius libra gemini energy but it also could be that you are being watched you are getting noticed people are admiring your work okay let me get a charm on that we have oh snowflake yeah you're one of a kind you're unique now what about this um cross we have here the Eight of Wands. Yes, yeah, something might be moving quickly. It might be a back and forth communications. Things might be taken off. This is like accelerated movement. Something happened very quickly here, and that's going to help you. And the bouquet. Let's see. We have here the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands is very attractive, or else your work that you do is very attractive. You might be very creative with the Queen of Wands. A lot of... um. A lot of um, creativity, yeah, they don't say creative, but it's also the the go-getter, the way-shower, you know, uh, can do attitude with the Queen of Wands, too. Let me get a charm on that. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be a, a, a Queen of Wands is helping you. We have here the scissors. Could have something to do with scissors, cutting something out, removing something, or someone could work with scissors in whatever they do here, whether they cut here, they cut are they in the fabric business or there's something to do with maybe they use scissors in their business okay or maybe they make scissors could make many different things okay let's see about this page of swords the words let's see we have never realize the money okay so something someone never realized something about money let's see and we have here the price tag. Never realize something about the price of something, maybe, or the cost of something. Let's see about the Queen of Wands. 
we have here the end healing expect healing okay so there's an end to something that now you could expect things to start healing because of it it could be an end with the queen of wands or the queen of wands could have ended something or you know that could be for you maybe maybe not okay now let's see the possible outcome for you guys what is the possible outcome we have here the man so this is a masculine energy could be your energy could be someone else coming in towards you oh we have the letter so there'll be some kind of important information communication this could be an email could be a text could be a phone call someone in person or it could be actual letter a document and something about a this makes a major change for you whatever this is the coffin card that means something's completed maybe maybe you're getting a letter saying okay this has completed you know that maybe if you um did something okay all well, the paperwork has been completed something like that or it could be saying that um something has finished something completed something has ended something has changed something has stopped something had transformed okay what you don't see coming is there's some kind of um, snake here. So this we don't see coming. This could be some kind of um, deceit, deception, um, lies. It could be envy, jealousy. Okay, let's see. What about the man? So the masculine energy. What's that all about? We have here the king of cups. Okay, so this could be that you're dealing with a king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Let's get a charm on that. <clears throat> and we have here this is oh okay this is a multi-purpose tool so maybe someone has a multi-purpose tool here or there's something about a multi maybe oh no i'll say this isn't the multi-purpose tool i'm sorry this is the um hole puncher like this is to punch hole like for a leather belt or something see how the prongs are that's to punch holes in something so maybe there could be a king of cups or a masculine energy that is punching holes in some kind of theory some kind of um something that's happening here someone might be punching holes through some or someone actually maybe does use this for punching holes in whatever they do for a living they might make something that they punch holes into it it could be a craft too it could be someone does something on the side you know where maybe someone's making jewelry or with leather with um maybe pieces of leather like a um, leather bu belt buckle with stones in it and then you have to punch a hole and put the stone in i don't know this, this could be anything with this see how that is it's not like some people always like to say to me that it's a see how it is it's not one to cut fabric to, and to trace fabrics because it's not like a disc it's got individual prongs so that's why i'm pointing that out okay so so there's something about punching holes in something someone's idea someone's theories or something maybe you're doing maybe someone's trying to do it to you or it could be maybe trying to maybe someone's story about something maybe someone's in, um wants to you know try to make someone's story not seem right i don't i'm not gonna go on anymore with that okay so now we'll go on to a letter so this is news communication we have here the queen of cups Ooh, so we have the queen and king of cups could come together so this actually could be a romance or it could be someone that you meet at work but yeah, there might be someone trying to come together. There might be communication with the letter. Wow, let me get something on the Queen of Cups. So we have here a cloud. Okay, it's a cloud. Something is unclear. Someone's uncertain. Yeah, so um, clouded judgment maybe. Okay, let's get the um, coffin here. We have the Ace. Okay, there's a lot of passion here. Okay, we have, there might be something transforming here that is growing to something very passionate, new beginning. You guys could work well together or it could be a romance too. And also what you don't see coming is, besides the snake, we also have temperance, Sagittarius energy. This could be balancing things out. This could be um, patience. Tem temperance is patience, to, to have patience with something. Someone could be dealing with someone that is kind of hard to deal with being a snake and someone's just being very patient with them um you know take if it resonate leave it doesn't okay so now let's get the word on the king of cups we have here apology 
tower. Aries Scorpio energy. Past life. Ooh. See, this could be a very... Maybe that's it. Maybe someone's trying to say, I have a theory that we have been in life together. And someone's probably maybe punching holes in that. Trying to say, I don't think that's possible. I don't believe in that. Hey, but maybe it's true. Maybe it isn't. Um... But something surprising happened here with the tower. There's something happening out of the blue. Something someone's not expecting here. Okay, what about this Queen of Cups? Tick tock. Another tower. Wow. Desire. Wow. I don't know. This guy, is, this feels pretty strong here. I think you're meeting someone at work. Or you're going to work with someone or something. And there's going to be sparks or something here. I think you're both going to be surprised by this connection. And if it is past life connection, that's how they go. You meet someone, you're like, holy moly, how do I feel so strong and, and connected to this person from the get-go? It doesn't make any sense because you probably had a past life with them. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. Okay. So I think you're having mutual feelings. Someone might want to try to, you know, stop this from happening maybe. But especially people get jealous. And there's other people, like you both have exes. Yeah, they're not going to be happy about it, especially if you guys are just taken off. I mean, if this, you meet and then all of a sudden things get crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Let's go into the signs. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. Let's see what signs we have. Okay, we have here Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. <laughs> Sagittarius. Cancer, Pisces, and Sagittarius. Okay, so we have double Capricorn here, double Sagittarius. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's chart, past, present, and future. Capricorn, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Now we do the letters. We do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get the initials for someone's first or last name, first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have L, W, B, J, Z, F, J, E, K, P H. Okay, so letters we have for you today are L W B J Z F J E K P H. Now for the names. I'm gonna do eleven or more names. Let's see what names want to slot. Oop, I think I have more than enough there. Okay, we have Carrie, C A R R I E. Angie, A-N-G-I-E, and Marty, M-A-R-T-I, Ayla, A-Y-L-A, and Jeremiah, J-E-R-E-M-I-A-H, and Lillian, Bradley, Beth, Ariella, A R I E L L A. Brittany, Brittany, B R I T T N E Y. Brittany. Okay, Phoebe. Um, Karen, K A R Y N. Jen, J E N. And Ambry, A M B R E E N. I'm sorry if I mispronounced anybody's name. I'm getting a little tired here. Okay, so 3, 6, 9, 10. 14. Those are the names. Now remember guys, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. If you're doing the sun, then check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. That might resonate with you more or it might give you that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything sort of click together for you guys. And um, I just want to thank you all for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. Um, your super thanks and um, yeah thank you for everything and I hope to see you all again real soon thank you so much